Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Farming Simulator 22, Angel Mountain map. It's been a little bit of time in real life since I recorded the last episode. I was sick for actually a couple weeks, but I'm back in action here. Let's get back to it. I've done a bunch of work between episodes, but uh, let's get on it. It's nighttime. I can advance the time to single speed here. Let's go get some animals, and I'll tell you a little bit about what's been going on while we drive down there. Um, I managed to pick up some used equipment at a great, great deal. So we'll take a look at that when we drive by. I think this episode we're going to go grab sheep. We're just about, I think we have about 200 cows and 200 sheep at this, stamp, at, uh, this point in time. We're just going to keep on adding animals gradually. And then hopefully get it close to, I think though both of those uh, animal pens will hold up to 2,000 animals. So that will be cool. Sheep and cows use mostly grass, grass and hay for the ones that we have. Um, but pretty soon we'll be able to do TMR. And I'll show you one of the pieces of equipment that came up for sale a short time ago. Can't believe the timing. It was perfect. Oh, man. Let's uh, fix this. All right, we'll get back over there. Uh, when we drive by the dealer here, we'll stop and I'll show you what I bought. Got some pretty good deals. Uh, in between episodes, like I said, I did a ton of work. Moved a lot of product around between our different industries. I sold things like molasses and plastic jars. What else? Did I, wheelchairs and walkers I've sold. Spent a lot of money on maintaining our vehicles. Did a lot of mining. Um, we're getting real close to the 10 million liter uh, objective for both uh, iron ore and sand. And if you look at our bank balance up at the top right, we're at 1.3 million. I've also cleared a ton of trees over by where we want to plant our grapevines. And we have a lot more of that kind of work to do. I think we'll do some of that this episode. Let's pull over here by the dealer and we'll just hop over. I'll show you what I bought. Can't believe it. This is perfect timing. Remember I was talking about TMR. This TMR mixer, motorized TMR mixer. This is the Bearson Leader PF. 226 plus let's take a look at what it looks like in the shop that is that's the high-end one here normally 240,000 I got this for 45 percent off so it was 160 or something not bad we need to repair it I don't think there's anything to really customize oh and here's the other thing I bought I actually hopped in here by accident it's another um Another tractor just like the ones we already have. This is the New Holland, what is this guy? T7315 HD. These are the same New Hollands that we have. I think we have three of these already. Or maybe this is the third one. Um, but that was like 35% off. I added fat tires, added wheel weights, and upgraded the engine so that we're at over 300 horsepower. But um, these will need to be repaired. We can do that now. I want to kind of hop in this one if we can. All right. Let's just, uh, since this guy wants to steal the attention, let's grab this guy and just get him repaired. I like these tractors quite a bit because they're at 300 horsepower, maybe a tiny bit more. Uh, let's get this guy repaired. $2,324. Nothing to it. It's a great deal on this. Uh, if I go to customize. Yeah, we're at 313 horsepower, which is an awesome, awesome spot. That will pull the biggest plow that we have. And just about everything else we need to do on the farms, especially since we have um, pretty flat fields on this map. We'll leave that guy there for now. This one, I want to see what it's going to cost us to repair. And I'm kind of curious how fast this moves. Ooh, 26 miles per hour. Okay, we can just drive this up to the farm when we're ready to use it. 
Let's see what it's going to take to repair this guy. This was almost 50% off. It's used. Man, super good timing on that one. Value 95,000 repair. Oh, look at that. Less than 2,000 to repair this. Oh, man. I'm excited about this one. That's going to allow us to make our own TMR. We'll be able to do it in style with the... Um, I think this is the best TMR mixer in the base game. Oh, man. Yeah, that's awesome. We'll drive that up later. Let's go get our sheep. So, yeah, that's all I really bought, those two things. We still have this old plow I need to bring up to the main farm. We'll use that when we uh, finally purchase the small field up there. Field number one, I think it is. Yeah, what else? Yeah, not too much. I mean, I did a ton of work, but just moving sugar beets over to the sugar mill, moving sugar into storage, put a lot of stuff into um, storage for our 10 million liter objectives. Sugar, as I mentioned, I did nails. Steel has been saved up a little bit of that. Um, yeah, just a bunch of stuff. Did I just blow by the animal dealer? I did. Let's get in there and get our sheep. Man, my driving's horrible. I do like this animal trailer. It's a million times faster than using the old jalopy. Alright. Sheep. We've been just doing the basic land race little youngins here. Off we go. Yeah, if I bring up the mini-map, um, I'll show you what I've been thinking as we drive back to the farm. If you look down uh, by fields 26 and 25, you remember we just recently bought those fields. They come with a bunch of extra land to the south, and then we bought two small plots of land just south of the river there, right above fields 22 and 24. So we've been thinking about using all of that land on either side of the river, north of the river and south of the river, down there by 26 and 25, for planting grapes. Because we need a ton of grapes. I think there's seven production lines that either use grapes or um, raisins. So that's 10 million liters of all those things. So we're going to need a ton of grapes. The other thing we're going to need is olives, but not quite as many. I think I've only seen maybe two or three production lines that require olives. I think they go on pizzas or something, and I think we jar them up. And then obviously we want to uh, save up 10 million liters of just the olives themselves. But we don't need quite as many as we do grapes. But what I'm thinking of doing, make this turn here without tipping over. If you look at field 29, that's a field that we just bought. Um, that has hemp growing on it. It's been complete. That field is... All the field work's been done. It's grown. It's fully... I mean, it's starting to grow. It's fully fertilized. Nothing for us to do. But just south of that, there's, there's some land too. We'll look at that here in a second. And I'm thinking of actually using that land between field 29, just south of 29, and then um, up to the river. Using that maybe... Maybe using that for olives. Show you here. Let's uh, unload this first. Get this map out of the way for now. Just loaded up grass here at the sheep pen, so we should be fully loaded. Don't think we need to worry about anything there. Uh, I'm not getting my trigger yet. Get a little closer, looks like. There we go. Select. Moved husbandry. Yep. Okay, that's all done. Park this guy. Leave the animal trailer here. I'm going to go hook up to our regular trailer. And then we'll just take a look at the status of the warehouses here. And see our liquids, our grains, and our pallets. 
Uh, where's my little box trailer over here? Let's look up to that. And then we'll hop out. And then we'll advance the day too, so we can get some daylight here. And we need to pay off debt. So let's hook up to this. Let's pay debt. I think I'm going to pay 60000 this time. There's been several episodes that I recorded too much, so I had to split it into two episodes. So we didn't actually, at the start of every single episode, pay off debt. So let's pay off sixty this time. That'll get us down to sixty-seven or six point seven two million. So we'll make a little bit of a bigger dent in our outstanding loan. Sorry, at six million seven hundred twenty thousand dollars in debt. Um, but what I want to do, let's take a look at where things stand. We hop in here. Coal, we've already met the 10 million liter objective. Uh, ore, I think iron ore. We're about 1.1 million liters away. Sand is getting close and then it drops off. We've got a lot of salt to do. Hey, there's our snow. There's 2 million snow that I've managed to harvest. And there's another million liters of snow out at one of the field silos that I just need to bring in. Grass looks good at 1.7 million. We may use that soon to um, make some more silage. Empty our silage bunker and use that. You can kind of see what the right, where the rest of the things stand. We're slowly saving up. We go over to the pallet warehouse. You can see we're starting to save up some things. Nails and steel and sugar are all almost at a 1.1.5 million. And then we've got some other things that we are not using for production yet. Barrels, paper, uh, drill pipes, we brought a load over. Apples, we decided to start saving up. You can kind of see what's going on there. And then for liquids, how we doing? Water, we're at 6 million. We just need to bring it over from the water tower straight away there. We have the 10 million liters. We just need to cart it over here. Uh, diesel and hydrogen and oxygen, we're almost up to a million. And then not much crude oil. So that's where we stand and all that stuff. Uh, let's advance the time. You can see up at the top right. Looks like there's snow in the forecast. We'll see what we get. Hopefully we don't get snow because I kind of want to do some forestry work and not shovel up a bunch of snow. Uh, but we'll see. Let's forward the time a bit and get ourselves to some daylight. Check out the sky here. It looks pretty sweet when it's fast forwarded. So there goes the moon, I guess, down that way. Clouds look pretty cool. There we go. Starting to get some sun. Go to about 8 o'clock, then we can slow down. All right. Slow down to single speed. We don't have snow yet. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the area where we've been clearing out for grapes. I'll show you what I've done. This trailer, I guess I'll take it with us. And we'll dump it across the, um, across from the forestry area. <clears throat> but I want to head down over to fields. 25 and 26 and show you I've cleared out all of the trees between those fields and the river. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I'll meet you over there. Be right back. All right, we're working our way over to the area where we want to eventually plant the grapes. Uh, this field silo here is loaded with snow and grass and slowly making trips back to the main farm with those two products. Nothing real urgent. But back here is where I've done a bunch of work between episodes. You might remember we had just started pulling down trees in this area. And I've cleared out all the trees. So you can see in the distance, this area is wide open. There's my little stump grinding tractor there sitting in the middle. But we have a ton of room here for grapes. And we want to go pretty darn big on grapes. I know we need a ton. So we have that. And then across the bridge... Yeah, this side too is all cleared out. Across the bridge, we come across here. You can kind of see we have a ton of trees here yet to clear out. I haven't touched any of the trees in this area. Let's look at the big map. If we look here on the big map, 
These are the areas that are all cleared out. And there's that little stump grinding tractor that we just looked at. Tons of room here for grapes. Here, it's a little more narrow. And I was thinking of doing grapes. But what I'm thinking of doing now, possibly, thinking of changing this up or changing plans a little bit. We know we're going to need to do olives. And what I was thinking of doing is grabbing this plot of land here. This is, um, this has a bunch of trees on it. It's not huge, but it's decent size. I was thinking of purchasing this land, clearing out all these trees, doing olives here, and then maybe south of field 40 here, this land right here, doing olives also. So that would be olives, that would be olives. And then use these huge areas. That is enormous. This all for grapes. This land area 39, most of this probably for grapes. And then 38, another huge one. Use that for grapes. And that's probably enough. So grapes, grapes, grapes. And then olives, olives. We need way more grapes than olives. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. If we do that, we need to clear out this 39 and 38 soon because I want to do grapes first. And that's what we're looking at right here we could go take a look let's go take a quick look over where i'm thinking of doing the olives and then we'll come back and maybe start cutting trees i think i've got my tree harvester there it is back in the distance hopefully that thing is repaired and fueled up but yeah this whole area would be grapes now purchasing the grapevines on the scale that i want to do it is going to cost a fortune so I'm kind of waiting until we get our next big harvest from the greenhouses so we can sell all that produce raise at least a couple million more before we start planting grapevines that way we can have one huge um, harvest of grapevines kind of all in sync so we're not buying a little bit at a time just buy one massive set of grapevines as much as we can and then at one time. Where's the land I was talking about? This is the land over on the right hand side. So on the left side here we could do olives I'm thinking. And then if we want more land we can clear out this area off to the right. Purchase this little plot of land. Clear out these trees. And then we'd have more room for olives here. And this is not very expensive. I think this is like 330,000 for this land. But, you know, we need to cut all the trees, clear all the stumps, that kind of thing. But we could fit a good number of olive vines out this way, I think. And I think it makes sense to do that. We were previously going to put olives up over here, we were thinking. Kind of on this part of the river next to field 10. That farmland is quite a bit more money, 1.4 million. And I think we've got enough room just south of 40 and field 53 here, which is only 310,000. So that's kind of the current plan. Let's get to it. I'm going to move this truck back over to um, where we've got our tree harvester and our timber runner trailer. And we will get to cutting down some trees here. I think the sawmill is mostly full, but uh, we can just store these logs towards our 10 million liter objective. I mentioned that, you know, we've got 1.25 million now. Um, basically, all of our productions, the glass jars, the sugar, molasses, all that kind of stuff, I've emptied out just about everything I can and sold what makes sense to sell. And I'm just waiting on, waiting on our greenhouses and our um, orchards to get to 200,000 liters of each product. That way we can sell a full truckload of each product at a time. And it's just a little more efficient to do it that way. That should raise a ton of money. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for that produce to accumulate, let's get to cutting down some trees over here. We've got a ton. And we got a bunch of stumps to take up as well. And then, man, once we can harvest those greenhouses, 
and orchards, we will be able to buy a ton of grapes. And then we'll get the, um, the little mini tractor we need and the pruner and all that kind of stuff. There's some equipment we're going to need to buy. The harvester for grapes, we won't need to buy for a bit. So we'll buy the minimum so we can maximize how many um, grapevines we were able to buy with the money we have on hand. But let's get to it. I'm going to get near the bridge here and get started. Oh, it looks like we're going to need fuel. I will get started and then we'll bring the little maintenance trailer over and get the tree harvester repaired and fueled up. But we've got enough to get going. Here we go. Let's get started on this. We've got a lot to do. I don't know if I can take these ones down. I might have to do these with a chainsaw. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to do those with a chainsaw. Hmm. Why don't we do a little of that? Let's do a little bit of that. Um, let's see. With these guys. What I might do... I'll show you what we're going to do with these. We won't do a bunch of them, but we'll do a couple. We're just going to load that whole tree onto our trailer and take them one at a time because trimming all those logs up takes a bunch of time. Too much time, I think, for how many that we have to do. I think we can just load them on the back of the truck here. It looks a little silly doing it this way. I'll get us positioned so we're ready to head back across the bridge. Uh, oh, straps. Let's take the straps off. Up out. I've got my super strength set from the um, lumberjack mod. I'm just going to set these guys on here like so. Boom. Hop on in. Strap this guy down. And this is how we're going <laughs> to... Excuse me. This is how I'm going to do these trees. Um... We won't do a lot of these on camera because it's going to take a long time doing them one at a time like this. And the trailer gets pretty tippy. But we'll do one. Let's take this thing back to... I guess... We can put this into storage. We could sell these trees. I don't know what we'll get. Um, maybe we'll... S yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Up out. Oh man. Yeah, I gotta drive a little careful. Shoot, it's too bad they're not um trees that our harvester can handle. Might try and sell one and just see what we get for this. We do need to raise some more cash. I'm not sure if it not being trimmed up um hurts our our price that we get. We can move pretty quick on the straightaways, but we have to go slow on the turns. Uh, I think I'll time lapse this and I will see you at the heating plant. I think we'll just sell this. plant let's see what we get for these boom <laughs> 550 dollars oh man that's painful that is painful hmm let's head back we'll try and trim one up hmm yeah 554 dollars is just oh man that's just kind of pathetic for how much time is involved in transporting those all right i'll meet you back over by the trees all right Back at the trees. Let's see what it takes to trim one of these things up kind of proper. Kind of the way you're supposed to do it or expected to do it. We won't do a bunch of these on camera because I think it's going to be pretty time consuming. Down it goes. Oh man, yeah, these are huge. We 
me start trimming off branches here. And then loading these up. Curious, if we cut this up, what kind of money we get for it? If it's the same, or if it's um a little better. Ooh, I gotta grab that from further away so we can make it over the top. Here, see if we can cut off a couple of these branches. Okay, that's interesting. see how much work's involved in trimming this kind of tree down. It's not trivial. That's why I think I'm just going to haul these one at a time. And then maybe we'll storm if um, might be worth more to us as wood towards our 10 million liter objective than just selling them for $550. But I am curious if you do trim one up, just curious if you get more money for it. Like I said, it is a lot of work. For this many trees, if you just had two or three of these things to do, it's not a big deal, right? But we have about 50 or more that we want to clear out of here. Let's see if we can trim this big guy down a little bit. If we did this without the uh, superhuman strength and just used tractors to kind of haul these logs, pick them up and haul them, man, that would take really long. It's fun, though. I've done that a long time ago, back when I played Farm Sim 17. Kind of did it the slow and tedious way, and it is fun if you just take your time and enjoy it. But, man, not on this map and not with our objectives. We just, uh, we've got plenty to do. I don't need to prolong things. don't want to stack particularly nice either. You can see how there's a bunch of kind of gaps due to the way the collisions work on these things. So that makes it even a little more unpleasant to do it this way. What else do we have? Did we... something disappeared. There's another piece. Grab it from further back so we can lift it up high. Just want to get one in here. Uh, we can take the stump out with the lumberjack mod. I'll mostly use the tractor to do that. All right, any more branches laying around? Seems like they all kind of disappeared at once, didn't they? All right, let's go see what we get for this, and then uh, we'll get to using the tree harvester, and we'll worry about these big trees later. I'll do some of that off camera, maybe. Uh, this should be a little easier to drive than hauling the whole tree. 
But last time, what did we get? 550? I will meet you back at the heating plant. Let's see what we get for this. All right, we're coming up on the heating plant. Let's see what we get for a properly cut up tree. The full tree was 550. What do we get for this? Look at that. 6,100. Hmm. Oh man, that is a little more compelling for a single tree. Still, it's a lot of trips. I guess it's a lot of trips no matter what we do. But, uh, hmm, what to think about that? Maybe I can do some of that between episodes. But that wasn't too bad. 6,000. Figure, what, 10 trees would get us $60,000. It does take a lot of time to do that cutting. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. The other option is just taking the complete tree and putting it into storage towards our 10 million liter objective. I think we'll get full credit for all the wood um, that the tree has, whether or not it's cut up pretty or not. So that's an option too. But man, yeah, that takes a long time. All right, let's head back and then we will hop in the tree harvester and start cutting down a bunch of the easy trees. All right, we're back. Let's see, it might take out this stump if I can. Let's do it. We'll keep an eye on the weather. Snow is in the forecast. Not sure when, but let's take out a bunch of these easier trees and get on it. Here we go. These are the last two trees of the bunch, and man, we've cut down hundreds, <laughs> literally hundreds of trees in this area. We'll get these last two cut down, and then I think I'm going to take the tree harvester and get this thing cleaned up and maintained. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, you can see that the gas gauge is flashing red. We're almost out of fuel. We've got fuel and um, power washer and a little maintenance trailer down by the field silo. 
So we'll head over there. Last little log here. I'll come back and pay, start picking up these. We have hundreds of loads. I don't know about hundreds of loads, but dozens of loads. You can see this whole area is cleared out. Huge job. We'll see if, if we uh, if we end up filling this whole area up with grapevines. I think we will. We'll see. We'll see. It's going to cost a lot to put those grapevines down. Again, I'm kind of waiting till we can sell all of our greenhouse crops. Um, wait till they get up to 200,000 liters each. And I'll sell all that off and we should, we might be north of, we might be north of 5 million um, by the time that happens. It's going to take a while. But yeah, let's go get this tree harvester cleaned up. I will meet you back by the farm silo. All right, here we are at the farm silo. Let's get our tree harvester uh, fueled up, cleaned up, fixed up. And then uh, I think I'm going to go park it by the forestry area. And then we'll find something new to do. Maybe change gears a little. Let's change gears and maybe do a little mining, a little bit of sand mining. I think I've got the wheel loader over by the sand mine. And I believe we need a little bit of mammoth mill, a little bit of sand. And then obviously we still need to accumulate sand for our 10 million liter objective. We're getting there. Can't remember how much sand we have accumulated. It's something like seven or 8 million already. That's not too bad. On the way back, we'll stop at this uh, field silo here coming up on our right. I've got a bunch of the grass that I cut over here that we're looking at right now. That is sitting in that farm silo along, or in this uh, field silo along with a bunch of snow. But since we're out here, let's pick up a load of that. Take that back to the main farm. Got a tiny little bit of hay and a bunch of grass. I've already brought a bunch of this back. Like I said, I think it was like over 2 million liters of grass just by cutting the, um, cutting the grass between fields. What was it? 26 and 25 between those fields and the river it was over 2 million liters. All right, off we go with another 60,000 liters. Tell you what, I'll drop this off at the main farm and I will meet you back at the sand mine. All right, here we come up on the sand mine. I'm gonna do six loads of sand. We're gonna take three over to the mammoth mill. We're going to take three up to our farm silo towards our 10 million liter objectives. And then um, I'm also going to grab three loads of grass from that field silo and bring those up to the main farm too as we go. Let's get to it. This will be a little bit of a change of pace from all the forestry work.
All right, here's our last load of sand. Pretty good progress. We put 180,000, whoa, bad driving, 180,000 liters of sand into the Mammoth Mill. 180,000 liters of sand here at the farm silo towards our 10 million liter objective. And then we brought 180,000 liters of grass out from the field silo over here. We'll probably use that grass to make silage. Um, eventually, we're going to empty our silage bunker there in the distance. It actually looks empty, but I think there's about a half million liters of, of silage in there. Let's hop out of the truck, see how we're doing on the 10 million liter objective for sand now that we've added a little bit. It is the third one down. We're at seven and a half million liters, so we've got a ways to go on sand. The iron ore is getting close and coal is done and then salt is way, way far behind. And then uh, let's take a look at our production. So here at Mammoth Mill, we are now topped off on sand. That's looking good. We'll use that as always for making jars. That's been a big profit item for us. I'm sure we've made over a million dollars by now just on jars and we'll keep turning the next to worthless sand into very, um, very valuable jars. Uh, and that's gonna help us buy fields and everything else. We do need to bring some iron ore here, plastic. We could probably bring over two, but I think what I want to do is one more thing I want to get done here. Uh, if we look at the oil well, we've got 300,000 liters sitting in the oil well. I'd like to get that into the refinery. Refinery, yeah, is waiting on oil from us. And then the refinery also has some diesel. We could maybe store 100,000 liters, sell 100,000 liters, and then uh, we have hydrogen and oxygen to haul too. Probably store 100,000 of each of those and then sell off the rest. Sell the other 200,000. That takes a while to transport. But uh, let's get on it. Let's do that. That'll be the last thing we get to this episode. Kind of keep the refinery doing its thing. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, the snow has not collected yet on the ground. So we haven't had to or had an opportunity to harvest more snow. That's fine with me. I'm kind of tired of shoveling it up. Um, I'm okay if we wait until January or February to uh, harvest more snow. But like I said, I think we've got around 3 million liters of that collected at this point. There's a million liters sitting over at the field silo that we just picked up the grass from. Um, and I think there's a little more than 2 million liters here at the main farm silo. That's kind of the final destination for pretty much all the items for our 10 million liter objective. We'll try to bring everything up here so it's easy to kind of tally. All right, let's go switch out this trailer for our tanker and then we'll head over to the refinery. I don't think there's anything for us to take over there. We could bring resin from Mammoth Mill over to the refinery uh, and the refinery will turn that resin into glue, but I just did that between episodes, so I don't think there's much resin sitting in um, Mammoth Mill for us. So we'll just take an empty tanker over to the refinery, move the crude, and then um, store up 100,000 liters of oxygen and 100,000 liters of hydrogen, 100,000 liters of diesel, Let's store up all those for our 10 million liter objectives, and then we'll sell whatever else is there. Let's snap on the tanker truck. This guy holds 100,000 liters. The oxygen and the hydrogen are very heavy. So, man, when we load up the tanker, the truck is very slow. When we're hauling those materials. Diesel is not so bad. But, man, the oxygen and the hydrogen are just super heavy. Water is, too. And I'm not sure... Crude, we never, we never have to take it that far. So, I'm not even sure if that's... Um, difficult to transport or not. I guess eventually we'll have to bring 10 million liters of crude back to the main farm silo. We've got uh, underground liquid storage right next to our silo. But right now we've been pumping pretty much all the crude into the refinery and we'll do that this time too. Yeah, I'm anxious to raise some cash We'll wait till, like I said, the greenhouses get up to 200,000 on each product. I think we've got a ways to go before we get there. We can take a quick look. See how things have progressed during the day here. 
We're at 127,000 just about. We want to get those up to 200,000. So maybe another in-game day or two. Now I think the month is going to tick over at the end of this day. And we may have our clover field ready to harvest. I'm not sure if we can harvest or if we, um, we get a penalty for harvesting when it's snowing. I think you do pay a yield penalty if you harvest while it's raining. So I'm guessing the same would apply to snow. So we'll try not to harvest unless we have a clear day. <clears throat> All right. I guess we'll just start with the pump jack over there on the left. Empty that thing out. It's going to be three loads. Get that crude oil into the refinery and then we'll worry about hauling some oxygen. This thing loads up pretty fast here. The little jet ski in the river. That turned a little too tight. That's just about it for the crude oil. We've got, um, the oil well has a good amount of coal. It doesn't use that much per cycle and plenty of drill pipe. We do at Mammoth Mill have a bunch more drill pipe to bring over here. We may do that in a future episode or maybe I'll get that between episodes. But uh, suffice it to say the oil well is fully stocked. That's good. Done with crude. Now let's move to um, moving our oxygen, hydrogen, and diesel. We'll, still, we'll uh, store 100,000 liters of each and sell all the rest. We'll start with oxygen. Here we go.
All right, this tanker of diesel is our last load from the uh, refinery, at least for the time being. We managed to store off, what, 100,000 liters of oxygen and hydrogen over at our main farm silo. And we actually s stored off 100,000 liters of diesel as well towards our 10 million liter objective. This episode, we got quite a bit done. We cut down over 600 trees. We hauled not quite half of those, half of the logs back to, um, back to our log storage over near the forestry area. Um, so we have more of that to do. Maybe I can get to that between episodes. Um, we stored off some sand, right? We put 180,000 liters into the mammoth mill for glass jar produ production. And then we put 180,000 liters of sand, um, into storage for our 10 million liter objective. This fuel we're going to go sell at the boat launch. That's actually the most reasonable. It's actually the cheapest, I think, price for it. I didn't want to just get mega cash for this, but it seems reasonable. We'll see how much we get here. We're going to have a lot of surplus hydrogen, oxygen, and diesel. That's why I don't mind selling it early here. We can definitely use those funds. Uh, the oxygen and hydrogen we sold all together, two tankers of each. That was good for, what, $160,000, I think? We'll see what we get from this load. We can definitely use that money for the grapes. Uh, we're going to be putting up many, many, many vines, and we still have quite a bit of work to do uh, over in that area where we cut all the trees. we got to clear out the stumps, and then, like I said, I may cut that grass down there too and haul that out of there just to make sure we don't have any lingering stumps and that ground is completely prepared for the grapevines. All right, let's see what our tally is here. Uh, that's another 50,000, so what, 210,000 roughly for selling products out of the refinery. Plus, like I said, we did store 300,000 liters of product working towards a 10 million liter objective. Objectives, I should say, for everything. But yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. Between episodes, I may haul some more logs. Uh, we may do some of that next episode as well. Hopefully, we can get into the stumps pretty soon. If we look at the map, yeah, if we look at our map, I have a feeling when the day ticks over, so that'll probably be the start of next episode, we'll be into a new day. I think that'll be January 1st. I have a feeling our clover field here will be ready to harvest. In fact, I may have the harvester sitting here. Yeah, I have the harvester sitting here just waiting for that field to get ready. Our other fields have a ways to go. We're going to need to get more fields. Um, kind of setting up grapevines and stuff here will we'll act kind of like a field. or act like having some extra fields. So we'll do some work there and invest in that. But you can see with the, uh, the way I've got it four days per month, it's taken forever for some of these crops to ripen. I think this... Um, wheat field here has been planted for what feels like ages, uh, and it's only in the second growth phase. So later, once we get a bunch more of these fields purchased, it won't be such a big deal. We'll have more to harvest than we can keep up with. Um, but for now, I just wish we had more fields. In the meantime, what we could do, once we get the grapes and stuff planted, we might look into doing the rock mining can always do mining, um, but rock mining has some potential for us to make some profit. I think we talked about this before. These stones aren't worth anything, but there are some washed stones. Let's see if we can find those in here. Uh, there it is, washed stones. These, look at this price for these things. Almost a dollar a liter. So that might be a business we want to get into next, and that could generate some cash for us. But uh, first thing first, we want to get that grapes, all of those grapevines down as much as we can. Uh, we're still waiting on our produce to produce. <laughs> that is all of our orchards. Yeah, they're around 124,000. I want to get these up to 200,000 liters each. And then I'm going to sell, you know, just about everything. We'll send the cherries to be dried. We'll send the bananas to be dried. We'll send any nuts, almonds, cashews, all that stuff to the, um, to the nut house for those to be refined. But every other product that we're not refining, 
um, we're going to sell. Only exception to that might be apples. We chose to pick one. I think we picked one thing that we're going to kind of save off. In fact, I think it was from an orchard, right? Apples. Yeah, we may store those just for the 10 million liter objective. But everything else that we're not producing, anything other than apples, we're going to sell, raise a ton of money. Hopefully it'll be on the order of four or five million in the bank. We've got one and a half million now. We'll probably chew through a little bit of that in vehicle maintenance. Like this uh, truck needs a little bit of servicing already. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we're somewhere north of four million dollars before we start placing um, grapevines. It's going to be fairly expensive to do that. Uh, the starting equipment is not going to be too bad. Let's take a look. Uh, if we go to packages, grapes, we'll need this, this tractor here. It's a narrow guy. So that's $40,000. Maybe one will come up on sale used. I doubt it, but maybe. Um, this huge harvester, we can wait. We don't need to buy that right away. Um, the pruner, I don't think we need to buy right away. Um, but we will need the fertilizer spreader for 28 grand. Uh, we don't need this wagon yet. And I will need this mulcher and we'll need this subsoiler. So those are super cheap. So not too bad. 10,000, 40,000 plus another 40,000. So $80,000 in equipment really is all we need to get us started. And then the vines themselves, let's see what those are going to cost. Um, we go to construction. Where is this? Is it production orchards? Yeah, we can see here the grapes look like they're 105 per section. We're going to do a ton. And the olives are 130. Olives will come next. We'll do as many grapes as we can. And then, um, look at the map. If we have cash left over, we may start planting olives right here under 25. Boom. We'll leave this area for olives, potentially buy this field or this chunk of land here underneath field 29 and do olives there. But all this above 24, above 22, and below 26, I'm envisioning just tons of grapevines because we need a ton of the, of, um, of grapes for our production lines. Um, and it'd be nice to get those started. And it'll effectively be like, um, you know, having some more fields up and up and running. And then after that, like I said, maybe stones. And after that, maybe we chase down more fields or get into dairy cows um, at our main farm. We haven't done that yet. We have the ability to mix TMR. Um, we're waiting, we can't do chickens and we can't do pigs. I think until one of these grain fields uh, matures and we can harvest that. We could always buy grain, but we may as well just use our own homegrown product. There's no real hurry on that. We can keep investing in our beef cows. Um, I think the beef cows will end up making some money off of those. I'm hoping once we get uh, that population really high and they start um, breeding and generating new cows, we can sell some of that off at the... Um, at the slaughterhouse and work towards our 10 million liter objective, but I'm hoping we can use some of those cows uh, just to generate some cash flow as well and help pay for more fields. It'd be nice to have a couple of huge fields, particularly with grain, because man, we are short. We need grain. All our bread products, um, like I said, I think the chickens eat grain, the pigs need, I think, grain in their diet, and then obviously we need to save up a ton. But yeah, we are doing it. We are making progress not too bad. We'll leave it here, like I said, between episodes. I may do a little bit more prep on those grape fields uh, so we can be ready for that. And yeah, I will see you all in the next episode.